This is part four of the knitting needle painting. I'm going to continue working by uh, looking at this large shadow here. This is a pretty transparent pane that's not covering all that much, so I'll just get it on there thicker. And once it's getting a little bit stickier, I can always go back over it some before it dries even. But I think this will work. I want the wall to have some texture to it. This particular wall is very flat. But it's more interesting if it's not quite as flat. some light green and help define these shadows just a little bit more. I just mix some of that shadow color with the lighter green. These are fairly indistinct shapes up here.
before I forget, I want to get this very bright highlights on the picture, just with a pure white. I use Permalba white, it's my favorite white. So I'm going to use my mall stick so I don't miss study my hands on. There. Exaggerate that one a little bit. I went down the middle of that highlight. I didn't cover all of this up, just, just right down the middle a little bit. Whites can dry very slowly if you add a little bit of liquid to it or another type of alkyd medium. It'll dry more quickly and have good body to it. A little yellow ochre and uh, white, I'm going to just reinforce some of these and exaggerate them a little more than I see them. Highlights there. Add a little of my gray to that same highlight and get a make this a little brighter. Now I'm doing this knowing that that gray is still wet, so it's going to just mix on the canvas. The bottom of these needles are brighter than the tops. And it doesn't match up exactly with this bright area here, but it's, it's pretty close because that's where the sun is coming in and reflecting off the picture as well. And we can get a little yellow ochre in that this guy under here where that light reflects the bottom of that handle. Okay. And I'm going to use that same color I have on my brush and just mix it into the some of my raw umber shadow color. Just to get a little more of that there. This And then this highlight here. I'm 
I pulled some paint out just with a paper towel. I want to brush to soften this so it's not quite so. There. a little dark. Finger makes a good blending tool. Maybe a little bit lighter color there as well. Oops. I use a barrier cream. I happen to use one called Liquid Gloves or uh, Gloves in a Bottle. This is especially important if you have any cadmium colors. You don't want paint absorbing pigment absorbing into your skin.
lightening up this edge even more of the photograph as in shadow, but I think it helps to find that lip a little better. And then put a highlight on top of the handle even though it's not in the photograph. It's our job as artists to fix the things that we don't like about what we see. And one of the things I don't like is uh, I'd like these to be a little redder than I have them. And I want to soften the edge too. Get a little small, smaller brush. I want a little indication of a highlight on top of those wooden needles. Just to help separate it. I'm going to finish up by just working on the bricks just a little more. I don't want to fuss with them. They're not that important. If you make everything in a painting as important as every other thing, then you haven't emphasized anything. And that picture and the needles are the important part of this painting. But I do want to get some of that lightest brick color that I'd mixed up earlier. And just get little splashes of light.
I'm going back to a little bit darker brick color. I want to. I've got this mortar in here a little too dark, um, so it makes the brick look kind of skinny. indicate where that is. I want to scumble some raw umber with a little bit of that brick color. I want it to be uh, dark in this sh shadow on the left side of the bricks. A little too much. dark gray for the don't lose that mortar completely there. And the last thing I'm going to do is carefully a little bit of a shadow right under the edge. And that brick is not smooth, so this didn't, shouldn't be a perfectly smooth line. But just kind of follow that and lift your brush up as you go and put it back down and let it create a little bit of texture. that go around there like that. That looks a lot better.
to darken this a little more as it hits here. Okay, I think I'm going to stop with that.